Hi everyone. So I have this gaming laptop and um, I've looked at the spec and I'm quite surprised to see that it doesn't have um, a very good quality hard drive. Uh, the spec is quite old uh, for a hard drive which is quite shocking really because this is actually a gaming laptop. Um, so just to explain, we've got different types of hard drive. I'll just uh, make this zoom in a bit more. We've got different types of hard drive. We have a uh, we have PATA hard drives like this, um, which like got a parallel interface, but I haven't seen these for quite a while, a few years. Um, and they're very slow, very, very slow. Um, then it moved on to SATA, which is this interface here. And these were substantially faster. And then, um, well, in fact, I'll just um, hold it here for a sec. This SATA hard drive. This is a similar hard drive to the one this has got inside it, this uh, gaming laptop, which is really not very good, especially for a gaming laptop now, anyway, in 2019. So that's where it's currently got a SATA hard drive. Then um, they were still SATA, but then we moved on to SSDs. So this is a mechanical, a mechanical hard drive. In other words, it's got a disk, well, a bit like a platter inside it. Um, but yeah, we moved on to SSDs. So it's SATA, but it's actually solid state. It's an SSD. Um, it basically works off flash, uh, flash chips rather than mechanical platter. So we had a huge improvement there. So um, there's also another type uh, called M2. Um, M2 is the um, uh, the form factor, if you like, the form factor. But uh, you get different M2 devices. You can have uh, M2 SATA, or you can have um, M2 NVMe. And M2 NVMe, and sorry, I can't even say it now. M2 NVMe is um, is pretty much the best one you can get right now. So if we just go through these again, we've got PATA, then we've got SATA, which is still mechanical, then we've got SATA SSD, which is not mechanical, and then we have this one, M2 NVMe, which is the best. So what's quite silly is this is fairly modern, really. This laptop, if I just zoom out again, it's fairly modern, really. Um, and it has a SATA port, and it also has an M2 port, yet this particular one doesn't have an M2 hard drive in it, or SSD in it, which is a, a bit crazy. So anyway, in this video, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, upgrade the hard drive in this. So this is an MSI GL62 um, laptop. So i just open this up and get it out. And there it is. So let's get this out here. Okay. Now to save time, I've actually already unscrewed it, but I'll just show you how it works because sometimes it can be quite difficult to know how to take something off without breaking it. So I'm just going to put this thing down, down on here, just so that I can do this without scratching it. So there's a screw here, 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 and here. And there's also one there which I've just broken through. So, um, the first thing you need to do is, of course, take those out. Now, when you take this one out, you can also pull this out here, which is the DVD drive. You can pull that out, put that to one side. And now what you should find is that it will clip off. So, sometimes you have to get something called a, a spudger and just um, unclip it from this area here. You see the side? can unclip it with a spudger. Oh, by the way, there are also three more uh, screws there, there and there, which um, you'll need to undo. So now, after you've used the spudger and you've just got, um, you've just broken the seal all around it, you should take it off this side from the DVD drive for this particular model, and it should come off. So that's that. So far, so good. Let me just put that out of the way. Okay, so now, <clears throat> what have we got? The CPU and the GPU, the fan, the battery pack, the motherboard, the RAM. This actually has 16 gig of RAM. And there it is, there's the hard drive. Now, I suppose we still want to keep a hard drive because the issue is here. SSDs are quite expensive per gigabyte. Mechanical ones are very cheap per megabyte. This particular one's a one terabyte. And I believe this one probably is as well, so we probably want to leave that in there, especially if it is one terabyte. Um, yeah, 
looks more or less identical, doesn't it? So this M2 port here, as far as I know, it comes in two different um, flavours, if you like, or it offers two different flavours. It offers the MSATA type or the NVMe or PCIe uh, type. And of course, me, I've gone for the NVMe one uh, simply because it's better. It's much faster. Now, whether it works or not, that's going to be another issue, but I'm going to go for it anyway, and we'll see. So let's just put this in here. I'll take this out. <coughs> so I take the screw out. Then I simply get the uh, device, which in my case is a 120 gig SSD M2 NVMe, and this will be ridiculously more f more powerful and more fast than the others. And there it is. Wow, such a tiny little thing. And what does it say? Nanya. Yeah. Integral. Hmm. Okay. Right, but basically that's got to go in here. Um, and you can see that it's keyed here. And this fits. Okay, so put that in there. And then screw it back in. If I can. There we go, that's in. And as far as uh, the hardware is concerned, that's all there is to it. So the next thing I'd want to do now is, of course, turn it on and see how it reacts. So to do this, I'm going to just gently put it back together without screwing it in. Oh, this side's got to go in first. <clears throat> just snap the case back on and try and turn it on and we'll see what it does let's see okay what I've actually done now is I've gone to BIOS I've made it boot from the bootable USB stick even though it said about no media and all that before and it seems to work so if I just uh, go to install it actually lets me install so we go to install now I'll just show you on here. <coughs> Setup is starting. <coughs> so, and it lets me go this far. Now, this is still possible without a hard drive, probably. Custom install. Ah, now. Now, this is where it shows that it's working. So, if I go to new. Yeah, recovery system, blah 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 blah. So um, I don't actually need recovery, I don't think, but it's only 500 meg, so primary. And there we go. So copying files. Now, so that's that's how to do it, pretty much. So if you've got uh, one of these laptops and you want to um, upgrade from the terrible hard drive which is in it, which is something like this and you want to put an M2 SSD in which is way better uh, there's a little bit of difficulty there but that's how to do it anyway that's how to go go around getting this thing to actually update and wow it's super fast I can see it now anyway I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching bye